Number We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Pushed out of bounds at the 44. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here we go. Throws it again. Number just picked off. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. And he's hit immediately. That brings him second. From their own 46 yard line, it's second down. Something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's scrambling, and they make the stop at the 44-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 44. One goes for good yardage. A first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Green eye, green it. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice game at that time. Good call. He's tackled at the three-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And they push him out at the two-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. This is a very important play for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. Receiver touchdown. A nice play is the offense.
offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 58-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 7-0. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Jayhawks are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. the 24-yard line. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. He's taken down at the 49. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From the 48-yard line, second down, Kansas up seven points. He's under pressure, and he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. That makes it fourth and eight. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Jayhawks really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They'll spread the field. Here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide out. It was loose. And they fall on the loose ball. And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. And the defense gets to him again. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. Third and long now after the sack. By 52, by 52. It's our time. It's our time, guys. It's our time. 
After a quarter of play, we've got a low score and defensive battle on our hands. 7 0, Kansas. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And they get the safety. You don't think the defense was coming extra hard on that play? They knew they could force a mistake, and they made a big play. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22. <laughs> Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 34. That makes it first and 10. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. receiver and he can't make it. They tried to fool by running the same play again. Well, fooled no one there, Brad. Third down and they need to get it to the 24. And he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the piss. Hurry, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And that one's complete. Number 17. Second and 10. Ball on the 20. They come out on an empty back. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. Better job oh, this quarterback the turf out of his face mask all game. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. That makes it fourth and twelve.
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Got the corner. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 42. The Jayhawks get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down. Star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and four. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 24. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, second down. He's on the run, room around the corner. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Cougars will use their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He scrambled. I'm telling quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. They come out in a five-wide set. Stays in bounds to make a nice kick. I credit the quarterback for that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's going to be sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle at the 12. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. From the 12-yard line, first down. 
big play, and it's first and goal. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. And he adds the extra point. Brigham Young gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Jayhawks offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the receivers. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. About six yards on the play. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Kansas is up two. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Red two! Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Easy, easy, Blair, Blair. That brings him second. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. Green nine, green nine, green nine. Go! And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. He's going to try and scramble. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Turn team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. The Jayhawks lead is five. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tackle you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Roger, Roger. Check 
scrambling around. And they got it. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the six yard line. Mike 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Get to that quickly. He's tackled at the seven yard line. Third and 14. Ball on their own seven. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Fielded at the nine. He's taken down at the 12-yard line. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. And for BYU, they're being kept in check in the big play department with only one so far. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. 52's the mic. Watch Mike. Let's go. Goes a laser across the middle. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 24-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 25-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes the catch and has a first down. And he's taken down at the 38. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Red 18! Red 18! down the 37 yard line well the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run third down from their own 37 yard line it's third down throws it to the outside he's taken down around the 30 yard line It's first and ten after the big pass play. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets maybe a yard. Call it a gain of one yard. Second and nine. From the 18 yard line, second down. Up the 
middle for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. Five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Gets to about the five yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Tackled at the five yard line. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Brigham Young is lining up to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's tackled at the 14-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Kansas holds just a two-point lead. He gets hit out of bounds at the 17. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 17. There he goes. Makes it out to about the 29. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and ten. ten. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, black he's coming. five, black five. Green eight. That's three down and one to go. Jayhawks in front by two. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Max 22, Max 22. Green nine, green nine. Three. Throws this one out to the right. And it's intercepted. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. First and 10, ball on the 46. They'll bring him down at the 35. Hit immediately. That's good for a game of one yard. That, that brings, brings up second, second and nine. nine. Come on, you guys can do better than that. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 34 yard line. Fires across the middle. Tackle around the 34-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 34-yard line. That'll make it 39. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Watch Mike, watch Mike. 
Got a man tackled for a loss. That's a six-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the that defense made a great team. play. They read it from the get-go. Kicks up, and he missed it left. No good. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Kansas with a two-point advantage. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 42. Mike 41. You can't block me. Red two. Green nine. Kill, kill. Panther two. Throws middle of the tight end, and he's hit immediately. Number two with the it's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Dog Mike. four. Yellow three. Yellow three. We have just over two minutes to go, and now in a punting situation, it'll be a decent amount of time to move the ball down the field and get some points. The Cougars have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. Well, they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Just over two minutes in the game. Three down. Seven, nine, six, go. Run, 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 run. Makes it to the 24. That's a D eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Ready. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. Quick throw to the tight end, and they push him out around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. That's a great tackle. At the 36. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They're running it. Check four, check four. He throws a dart to the left. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. Line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of two, two yards. yards. 
That check, 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 Under a minute left. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He's on the run. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So they're going to go for it here. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He heaves it deep. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. He's going to try and scramble. And they won't get the two. should do it. Our final tally in this one. Brigham Young, 16. Kansas, 12. Kansas, 12. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.